as we usher in 2019, there's every reason to celebrate this gift of a new year and to thank God Almighty, not only for preserving us to see this new year, but more importantly, for his mercy and the achievements we recorded in 2018. As we reflect on 2018, we have reasons to celebrate the modest achievements which we accomplished despite the challenges which we still face as a nation. With assistance and support of Mr. President and the federal government, we were able to pursue our goals and ambitions to make Edo State a model for economic development and good governance. My priority as your governor is to ensure that we emphasize and focus on policies and programs which will enhance the well-being of majority of our citizens by creating the enabling environment and building the necessary social and physical infrastructure for our people to achieve their aspirations. In order to achieve our promise, we have continued to invest in those areas which will make life better for our people. Education and healthcare received a lot of our attention last year, and we rolled out the Edo Basic Education Sector Transformation, otherwise known as Edo Best. Edo Best has been hailed locally and internationally as a revolution in basic education in Nigeria with huge potentials to aid our children to learn. I want to use this opportunity to thank the over 7,000 digital teachers who are now changing the future of our children, and also the hundreds of our school-based management committee members who have volunteered to ensure that we change the education outcome in Edo State. This year, we expect to roll out EduBest in every public basic school in the state. Similarly, our desire to improve health care for millions of Edo State by emphasizing primary health care took off with the pilot of our first 20 model primary health care centers, PHCs, which are equipped with electricity, technology, properly trained health personnel, and adequate security. The plan is to have 100 of such PHCs in 2019. We want Edo State to be the center where we will be able to access quality healthcare services without the troubles of traveling outside. The new specialist hospital will be opened this quarter under a public-private partnership PPP management agreement. In December, we launched the new Edo State security architecture, which is an innovative approach to fight violent crimes in the state in a sustainable way by involving the communities in the security arrangements and also by getting the private sector to participate in funding security in Edo. Henceforth, up to 25% of the security vote of the state will be committed to the Security Trust Fund to ensure that there is improved transparency in the management of the security vote. With the contributions of Edo citizens and the commitment by private companies, we can stamp out crime from our dear state and make it the safest place to live and do business. We are still very committed to the creation of jobs so that we can keep our young ones across the three senatorial districts engaged and productive. Even though we have created well over 77,000 jobs in the last two years, including the over 500 graduate employment into the Edo State Civil Service, we plan to do more this year as we invest in production and processing centers where artisans and entrepreneurs can go and produce goods and services. With the rapid progress which we have made with our partners in our investments in the modular refinery, 
the Benin Industrial and Enterprise Park and the Benin River Ports, we expect that construction will commence on the park this year and that the modular refinery will also be installed this year. We are very pleased with the progress which we have made in housing, especially in, with the construction of the 74 hectare, 1,800 unit emote and garden estates, where 100 units are now ready for occupation. I encourage Edo citizens to take advantage of this opportunity to own property in this unique project. We are mainstreaming more women and physically challenged persons into governance. This is in our efforts to create an inclusive system that is responsive to the needs and aspirations of all classes of people in our state. We demonstrated this recently when I approved the employment of all persons living with disabilities that applied for civil service jobs in the state. The Edo of our dream is a place where everyone can actualize their God-given potential and contribute to our collective growth and development as a nation. I must, at this juncture, commend His Royal Majesty, Omonoba Nedo Ukwa Polopolo, Oba Ewari II, the Oba of Benin, for his fatherly guidance especially his support for the fight against human trafficking and irregular migration in our state. The positive response of the traditional institution, the clergy, our mothers and sisters in our various markets, the international community, and other stakeholders to curtail the scourge of human trafficking has been remarkable. These efforts have begun yielding success such that the European Union announced that Edo State has dropped from the first to the sixth position in irregular migration to Europe. While this is a remarkable achievement, considering the fact that Edo occupied the first position for years, we are, however, not relaxing our efforts to stamp out human trafficking and irregular migration from our state. This modest achievement is the product of our collective fight. Our success story, though modest, is a demonstration of how far we can go as a people when we come together to tackle a common problem. We recognize the challenges which you, our people, are facing with respect to poor electricity supply. We will continue to task those who charge with the responsibility to fulfill the mandate that they have been given, while also intensifying our efforts to provide alternative sources of power to our people. As we approach the elections from next month, I implore all actors to work with me to ensure a violence-free election in Edo State. We look forward to another important year in our annals and I count on your continued support and assure you that we will uphold your interest above all else. I wish you a happy and prosperous new year.